Pickups, and I'm back with another video. And for today's video, we are going to be going over the upcoming trends for menswear fashion in 2019. But before we jump into the video, if you haven't heard of it or ended it already, the giveaway for 35,000 subscribers is still live. The prize is to win this US exclusive guest t shirt. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing to me, it honestly means the world to me. And on how to enter, the video link will be in the description box below. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel, like the video follow me on Instagram and then comment your Instagram handle. But anyways, less of the rambling on, let's jump into the video. So the start of the year is always a good time to predict some upcoming fashion trends. The reason being is in January we have London's Men's Fashion Week as well as Paris Men's Fashion Week and then coming on to early February we have New York Fashion Week which I am hopefully going to be going to. So at these runway shows you see a lot of fashion influences or like designs that are definitely going to be incorporated by or copied by other brands in 2019. So the first trend I want to talk about, it was big in the end of 2018 and I think it will continue throughout 2019, is kind of the deconstructed utility look. The first person I want to talk about is a fashion designer called Val Christopher. He's probably one of my favourite fashion designers. He's based in the UK if you didn't know who he is and he's also known as the denim guy. He creates hand sewn like jeans, denim jackets and he also has his own clothing line as well as his own deconstructed bags. He's actually blown up massively and his jeans are sold in Selfridges in London and even some famous people like Migos wore his denim jacket and his denim pants. And if you've never seen his stuff before, I definitely recommend going check it out. What he basically does, he'll like sew together like two different colours of denim, say like black and greys or light blue and dark blue. He'll add on kind of like utility pockets and straps. So the utility pockets and straps have been very, very on trend at the end of 2018 and I think they'll continue through 2019. He also adds in like embroidery, patchwork, and he also makes this deconstructed bag, which is something that a load of brands have kind of copied or imitated. It's kind of the deconstructed bag with like the kind of fraying at the edges and the kind of beige colorway as well as a black colorway. I also recommend checking out Val's Instagram as well as his website. It's got an unbelievable aesthetic. It's really good for like creative inspiration. Like some of these shots on his Instagram right here, he basically cut off the head of the model and it has like all these headless shots and these different weird poses. Honestly amazing. And also a crazy achievement for Val recently is he had a crazy collaboration with Nike. So what he did, he basically got an Air Force One, one of the most iconic silhouettes, and he then got, say he got a size 8 Air Force One, then he got a size 10 Air Force One, cut off the sole of the size 10 and glued the 8 to the 10 to kind of get in that double chunky dad shoe sole, something which is also very on trend with the Balenciaga Triple S's. And then he added his own deconstructive creative look to it. I'll roll the video clip right now. We don't care about you, but we'll take good care of you. That means like helping someone out that technical drawing, so let me give you this. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So this is what I feel comfortable with. Christopher, he definitely started the more deconstructed trend and a load of other like, kind of fashion houses have been replicating it. So the reason why I think Val Christopher's trend will continue within 2019, as in the recent show for the 4th plus winter 19 collection, a few of the high-end designers, the first one I want to talk about is Vetamont. You can see in a load of their men's fashion stuff with the pants, they've done a load of deconstructed denim. As you can see from this photo right here, they have the dark blue denim mixed with the light blue denim. We have another pair right here and it has the four utility pockets all the way down the side. We have a black colorway as well as a dark blue. We have two pairs of jeans, a light blue pair and a dark, kind of like a washed out gray and that has writing all the way throughout, kind of influenced by like the Val Christopher style. And then also, I've never seen this before, I'm not a big fan of them whatsoever, but they've mixed a pair of like camo cargo pants with a pair of light blue denim. I honestly think they're horrible, but they're kind of copying the whole deconstructed look and I think it's something that's going to be very, very big in 2019. 
The next brand you can see a lot of the utility deconstructed style in is a Cold War. These have been very renowned for it, but they're in their new fall slash winter 19 at, I think it was London Fashion Week. You can see a load of their kind of track pants with the kind of strap all around them, all kind of trailing down. Straps are something which has also fits in with that aesthetic, and it's something that has been very, very on trend at the end of 2018. I think this will continue throughout 2019. Then the third brand I want to talk about which I saw on Men's Fashion Week in I think it was London, it is Off-White's new collection. They didn't really copy the pants but they copied the whole aesthetic. We've seen it on some of Valkyrie stuff. They kind of take like the inside label, like the inside of the back or like the wash tag and they put it somewhere on the outside of the clothing. You can see from this photo right here, Val put his like name statement right there. And what they've done on the new off-white collection on their like blazers and long sleeves, they've kind of took the wash tag and they put it on like the sleeve bit right here. Pretty much identical. He's just put his own touch on it with the quotations there. And also as well, Virgil's actually been called out for kind of copying some like smaller streetwear brands. For example, this knitwear right here, this black with the green font, is pretty much identical to Gram one. If you don't know who Gram are, they're a Manchester brand. They're honestly so sick and they're actually getting so, so big. I mentioned them in my upcoming brands of 2018. And I'm sure they're going to smash it in 2019 because their collection is fire. And then a few other brands are getting on the bandwagon, for example, Minimal LA. If you don't know who Minimal LA are, I've talked about these countless times. They're a really nice brand which does like the simple aesthetics at a very cheaper price point. And they brought out these two new t-shirts, a tactical t-shirts, and what they've got is kind of the big utility pocket. And also at the bottom, similar to like the off-white thing I just mentioned, they have like the tag there at the bottom. And also in the upcoming collection, I think for January or maybe February, they've got these new pants coming out with the utility pockets as well as utility shirts with the pockets. And if you want to go shop there as well, be sure to use my code PAYDAY10 to get 10% off. The last and final one I want to talk about for the deconstructed look is an Instagram. It is called SXVSU. I'm not sure why it's called that, but basically what they make is handmade custom denim. So they do like split jeans like the half black leg, half white leg, or half blue, half dark blue. They'll add on a load of them straps like I mentioned before, something that's very on trend with the kind of like silver ring binders as well as the utility pockets and then they'll add in some like light blue denim with dark blue denim. I definitely recommend going checking them out. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. But that is the first upcoming trend of 2019. So the second trend for 2019 I want to talk about it is men's bags. I know bags have been huge over 2018, but I feel like everyone now at Fashion Week is wearing a different style of bag. It's an added accessory to an outfit. I honestly really like it. As you can see, my whole backdrop is just covered in bags. We've got like Marlborough bags, vintage bags, we've got Palace bags, Polo Sport, more Marlborough. And I've got a load more as well. I think that's something which I'm very, very upcoming in 2019. And I feel like a lot more designers are bringing out different kind of, kind of styles and silhouettes. For example, one that was massive was the Dior Saddlebag. It was a very, very chunky bag and there was a game in a variety of colorways. The statement ones were the monogram one as well as the black one. And they're literally in the shape of a horse's saddle. It's actually a really nice aesthetic. It stands out. If you see an outfit at first, you'll see notice that bag, which is kind of the reason why I think people love bags in 2019. People like Unknown Vlogs invested in this. I feel like personally it's too pricey, but it's such a statement piece. Then the second style of bags, which I think will continue to trend though, kind of really big in 2018 again, was the Desires bag. It's kind of like a tote baggy material, but it's kind of like a sling across you and kind of like a creamy colorway. A cold war did one. And then also Minimal Eye once again, hitting the trends. And as you can see from this one right here, very, very simple, but it's a different aesthetic to the outfit. The third bag I want to talk about, and this is the bag style I think will definitely, definitely trend in 2019. It's basically a phone pouch. And what it kind of is, it's like a sling bag over your shoulder and it's kind of like a cigarette box, but it just fits perfectly for your iPhone or your Android. One that looks really sick, which I think I would want to try and cop, but I know it's going to be expensive. It is from the new Represent 4 Plus Winter 19. They basically made a leather, a small kind of like leather cabinet with silver studding all the way around, as well as a black strap with silver studding all the way throughout. This case is honestly beautiful, and I'm sure a load of like smaller companies will jump on the bandwagon and do some cheaper alternatives. Then the next brand I want to talk about for bags is a new brand. It's more like bags and vests combined. They're called Kruger Clothing. This brand is an upcoming brand, and it's by a designer called Steve Brochel. You may have heard of him. He used to do YouTube. I don't know if he still does anymore. So the new upcoming brand, and what he's kind of created is kind of these bags, kind of like vests but you kind of clip them in like a seatbelt at the front and they have like two pockets right here. These are some of which have been very, very on trend at the moment. Kind of these are like a white colorway as well as a black colorway. 
And what I also forgot to mention before was the Kruger kind of fit in with the first trend. He made these new cargo pants in two plaid colorways, like a beige and a gray. And these have a load of the militant kind of straps hanging off them, something which is also very on trend for 2019. The next brand I want to talk about for bags is a brand called Render Paws. They're an upcoming UK brand, which are honestly smashing it at the moment. The whole aesthetic on their Instagram is what they've kind of created is in 2018, one of the bags that was trending massively was the chest rig. And I feel like so many cheaper alternatives came out. So the trend of the chest rigs is kind of dying out. So they've used their own initiative to kind of make like, kind of like, as I mentioned before, like utility vests and kind of like a backwards chest rig. So on the back, it has like the render paws on the back. And then at the front, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a life vest to be honest. And then you clip it in, but they honestly look so sick. The whole aesthetic's amazing. I'd recommend checking it out. They made them like black colorways, orange colorways also made sling bags across as well and they also look very very high quality and they've also created as well this is something i've not seen before it's kind of like a utility pocket that you attach to your legs it's kind of like what i mentioned with the vile christopher jeans before the deconstructed utility patch kind of on the jeans this is one which you can clip on yourself so you can basically wear it with any pants possible and this is something which i think will trend something which stands out and looks really different too and then the final brand left to talk about with bags is another uk brand from london they're called fidel corp they once again are making bags across bodies as well as a kind of vest one similar to the render paws ones but what they're doing is they're using a variety of different materials you can get like a snake skin one you can kind of get like a shiny bronze slash tin man one kind of like the supreme north face one the photo right here and they also have this as you say the crossbody vest ones they have neon colors because neon was a very big color at the end of 2018 more towards girls but i think it'll be higher in 2019 and if you look at off white's new collection they're using the luminous greens so i feel like green will be something which also trends within 2019. so the third trend which i think is going to be big in 2019 it is basically men's accessories specifically ones that you attach to trousers and clothing and i actually really like this stuff i feel like you don't need to spend a lot and you can use your own creativity to make your outfit look different and stand out i feel like that's the wave it's going in 2019 instead of people trying to spend as much on brands because people are kind of getting away from being a hype beast nowadays and they want to use their own like initiative and creative flows create something different like i want to start making custom denim jackets and trousers because that'll be a one of one piece it will stand out and then no one can have the same thing as me it's kind of the concept with like high clothes and rare clothes people want to buy that box logo because no one else has it so if you make a diy of a piece you can basically have the same like thing no one else is going to have it and you're not spending as much money so the first accessory i want to talk about is jean chain something simple something cheap and it adds a more like attitude to the outfit i match it with all my silver jewelry as you can see i wear my rings right here and also my chain and this is something which is also trended massively in 2018 it is the padlock chains i'm hoping they won't die out but i've got the louis v padlock right here and what people are also doing is using like the thicker chains kind of like the ones that you get from a diy store a hardware store attaching them to their padlock and people are layering these up they're using like carabiners this is what i mean by people using their creativity they're going to like DIY shops and they're finding whatever they can use to add to their outfits. So as you can see, people have even used like a big safety pin, as you can see from this Instagram right here. It adds a nice bit of extra detail to the outfit. A carabine, if you know what that is, it's basically when you go like <laughs> rock climbing, you kind of attach it to your ropes and people are adding that to their kind of belt line and then half that they're hanging off keychains. And then if you're looking for some inspiration on how to add these kind of jean chains and accessories to your outfits, definitely check out this Instagram called Johnny Marini. He has a load of things like, for example, this belt right here, it's from a brand called Scripture. It's a new upcoming brand. It's basically a belt which is attached with a carabiner. It's kind of the belt look buckle. It looks really sick. He adds in like keychain loops. As you can see here is a clip. And on top of that, it's got like a key. It's also got skeletons. So he loves to use like extra added details to make his say simple fits look even better and stand out you can see from like this photo here this guy's wearing the thicker chain with the padlock he's also wearing a crossbody bag which i mentioned in the second trend and also he's put his own kind of aesthetic to it he's added on them safety pins and a kind of cross motion i think that honestly looks really sick he's got the utility belt and then he's also got like two clip on jean chain things i can't see what they are because the photo's cropped but it looks such a nice silhouette and it adds so much more detail to the outfit so the fourth trend which I think is going to trend in 2019 it is basically the really big and chunky thick scarves. I think they add so much detail and attitude to an outfit and they really stand out. At the moment it's really been the high designer brands doing them and I really hope some like smaller brands bring them out because I ain't got the money to be dropping like 200 to 300 pound on a scarf. For example this photo right here is the big chunky Ada Era scarf. Nice grey, very very chunky, looks very very good with an overcoat and my man Johnson Gold. His outfits are honestly so sick. And then other brands which have been massive it is the Louis Vuitton scarf. You can see this photo with Tyler Creator when he's got his hair as a kind of cheetah print. He's wearing the big Louis V white scarf. 
And then another one is the big Balenciaga one, which just says either Balenciaga all the way across or the one where it just has the diagonal print of Balenciaga. And then we also have the huge off-white one, which just has the huge off-white kind of cross, the logo, I should say. And then the last one I want to talk about is the Gosha Rabin. Gosha Rachinsky, Roger Babinski, whatever you want to pronounce it. This yellow one from this photo right here, but the whole scandal of the Gosha thing, I doubt as many people will be wearing that anymore. But that personally, I think is trend number four. I think it's something that adds a lot of detail to your outfit. Also really stands out. A load of people at the fashion weeks, like people who've been shot in the streets were kind of wearing these. They really stand out, look really good on a photo and especially lay well with overcoats, bomber jackets, turtlenecks, etc. But now moving on to trend number five. So the fifth trend I want to talk about, and to be honest, this trend has continued throughout all the years, but you see it all the time at fashion weeks. It is the monogram prints. So as you know, the Louis V monogram prints where it's complete LV all the way over. The Fendi one, this was kind of huge. They did a Fendi kind of feeler kind of collab as well where it has Fendi all over. And also in the new Fall Winter Collection 2019 for Fendi, they've also brought out these new kind of fleecy coats which have the new, it's kind of a new monogram now. It's kind of like a signature F. It honestly looks really sick and they brought out some pants with it as well. Then another thing that was monogram which really stood out this year was the Dior kind of the see-through shoes. So it says, it was like, it was basically just a converse, but it had Dior all over it, and then it was see-through. Something that was very, very on trend, matched perfectly with the saddlebag. And then also as well, Burberry. The Burberry Nova check has been massive. The only problem with it at the moment is a load of these like fast fashion houses, so like mainly for girls now, they're recreating the monogram prints so, so much. The stuff where they made like the Dior monogram print with saying disco instead. And they've also kind of done like the cheaper alternative for the Nova check. For example, a brand in Leeds called Best Leeds, they basically made these Nova Check cargo pants. They're actually really nice, but they just completely copied the Nova Check print. And then also with the monograms being so popular, the kind of whole market for the bootleg monogram has kind of grown. For example, this Instagram called Vandy the Pink is honestly actually really sick. They make like LV monogram socks, they make Goyard monogram vans. They also made a whole set like fleece bottom, fleece bucket hat and fleece for the Louis V monogram print in a white as well as that iconic kind of brown and gold. These are honestly so sick. They've done it for the Fendi print, they've also done it for the Chanel print. I'd honestly recommend checking out this page. They basically do like monogram prints for a cheaper price point. I know they're obviously not real, but they honestly look so sick. But overall, that was my five upcoming fashion trends of 2019. Comment below if there's anything you think I've missed. Another thing which I may have added is kind of like the 3M high vis kind of style of clothing. I know it was in 2018, but I do feel like it's carrying into 2019. People are wearing kind of like the high vis pants and like black, the lime green, or even the orange. And I feel like people are kind of using the 3M to add a different aesthetic to their clothing. But if you enjoyed this video and agreed with any of the trends, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that thumbs up. It really means a lot. And if you enjoyed it, be sure to click the i card and check out the rest of my videos. I do loads of trips to the thrifts, lookbooks, reviews, etc. And also to follow me on my Instagram, it's where I showcase all my fits and all my recent pickups. But overall, have a nice day. Go check out the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the next one.